everyone and welcome. My name is Gemma and today I am going to be taking you through a very short sequence to really target the shoulders. So this is going to help improve flexibility and mobility. Now if you are going through a recovery journey of some sort with your shoulders, maybe you've had a operation or maybe you are sort of prehabbing to prepare for an operation then just be really mindful practicing this class with me because obviously I can't see you on the other side of this camera so making sure that you do check with your physician your doctor just to see whether this class will serve you or not because you know we're all different but Predominantly, we are just targeting the shoulders and we're going to work through some simple exercises to, again, improve their flexibility and to improve mobility. So if this sounds something that you need, if you have a strap handy, go and grab yourself a strap. This is a yoga belt. You can just use um, a belt that you would normally have around your jeans. So yeah, just some strap of some sort. If you're ready, let's get going. I'll meet you over here. So begin just taking any comfortable seated position. You can be kneeling if you want to. Um, I'm not, I'm recovering from a knee injury, so I'm gonna stay cross-seated, but this doesn't serve everyone, this posture, this position with the legs. So yeah, sit on a blanket, cushion, you can be kneeling. Okay, so just find that comfort. Comfort is queen. So we don't need the strap just yet. We're just going to take that seated position, place the hands onto the knees, lift the shoulders up towards the ears, and then just begin to roll the shoulders down the back. Notice any niggles and any tightness that you are feeling within the shoulder area. I'm just going to work on some stretches and some simple mobility exercises. Although if you are tight and you are struggling with mobility, won't be so simple. <laughs> take a big breath out. So I'm gonna take this left arm across the body and then hook the opposite arm just below the elbow. And then we're gonna gaze over to the left. So left arm across the body and gazing over to the left, squeezing the bicep towards the chest, feeling that stretch for the outer shoulder. And if at any point these postures aren't serving you then remember that it's not a big deal to stop and it's not working for you that's absolutely fine and then release taking the opposite arm now across the body hooking at the elbow or just below and then gazing over in the opposite direction Wonderful, and release. So let's bring the right arm around the back of the body. Create a little basket with both hands and you can sort of bring that basket all the way around towards the left hip. And then we're gonna gaze over to the right. And then we're gonna gaze over to the left. Beautiful, and release, repeat that the other side. So wrapping this left arm around the back of the body, creating that basket, bringing the basket towards the hip. And then we're gonna gaze over to the right again. Beautiful stretch there. And then a soft little gaze if we just tilt our head the other way.
and release. Well done. Bring the shoulders up towards the ears, relax. And then grabbing the strap. So finding your strap. And then we're gonna hold the strap out wide. So wider than the shoulders. Now, you can go more narrow with the grip. If you go more narrow, this is going to intensify the stretch and challenge your mobility a lot more than if you were to have your hands out wider. Now, you might start off wide with today's class and then if you keep working on this class weekly, you know, you might find that your hands start getting further and further together. So closer and closer together, not further and further together. So taking those hands out wider than our shoulders. I'm gonna stay here because my shoulders are feeling pretty tight. So let's take a big breath in as we sweep the strap above the head. And then exhaling as we pull it all the way back behind us. Now you may stop here. Some of you may be able to get the strap all the way towards the lower back. Okay, so just work with your own bag of tools. Inhaling to the top. Exhaling to the bottom. Now this time as we inhale, we're gonna bring it all the way back out in front and then exhale back round. And then again, inhaling to the top, out in front, and exhale as we push it back. We'll take that two more times together. So sweeping that strap above the head on that inhale and just slightly bring it out in front and then on the exhale find that lovely stretch as you pull those arms back behind you it will challenge the mobility within your shoulder and then all the way up to the top so i've lost count so we'll do that again <laughs> inhaling to the top Exhale, up back. Well done, and just bring that strap all the way back and over. You may just wish to let the shoulders just drip away from the ears. And another little variation of that using the strap, again, taking the arms out a little bit wide. We're gonna isolate one shoulder. So let's isolate the right shoulder down, left arm is all the way up there to the top. And then we're gonna bring this left arm, just take that hand a little further down the strap, bring this left arm all the way back, and then over. So a little bit more difficult as you isolate that right shoulder. So if like me, you just need to slide the hand a little further down the strap to keep both arms straight, then do so. And that's the goal there. You know, we we're trying to keep the arms straight to reap in that stretch. And then we'll bring it all the way back over again. And then repeat that the other side. So let's isolate the left shoulder, push it down. And then off we go, other side. And one side might feel tighter than the other. One side might have a few sounds coming out of it than the, what the other side had. You know, as long as they're not associated with any sharp, severe pain, it's, it's no big deal that they're not symmetrical. and then back beautiful I can feel that in my shoulders just relax the shoulders away from the ears and then we're going to come up onto our knees 
So we're going to take now the strap behind us and I'm probably going to go a little bit more narrow with my grip. You can stay as you were. And we're going to bring the hands up above the head. And we're just going to hold there. Begin to push the ceiling all the way up. And pull those arms all the way back behind you. So really puffing the chest forward, pulling the arms back behind. Keeping the belly button back towards the spine. Kneeling up tall. And I can feel my shoulder blades pinch together. And release, wonderful. Okay, let's bring the strap behind us. So taking the strap behind. Again, I'm gonna stick with my narrow grip. You can go a little further out, depending on how tight the shoulders are. I'm gonna take a bunny pose. I'm gonna be bringing the crown of my head down towards the yoga mat. So as I lean back, place the crown of my head down, and I'm gonna pull this strap up. And then I'm gonna see how much I can bring it down. I'm now going to peel my sail all the way up and then I'm going to change the grip. So I had knuckles facing forward for that one. Now I'm going to bring my knuckles back behind. Inhale and then as I exhale my buttocks goes back, bring the crown of the head down. And you'll probably notice that with this grip, as I flipped the grip, I can go a little lower. And then lifting all the way back up. Removing the strap. And then we're just gonna find some release in these shoulders. Let's step the right foot forward. Placing the right forearm above the knee. And I call this one stir the pot. So let's just relax out through this left arm and stir the pot. I'm going around the other way. We'll switch it over. I'll face this way for you guys. Stir the pot. It looks so simple, but believe me, it is so effective if your shoulders are feeling fatigued. Well done. Bring the shoulders up towards the ears. Maybe you decide to just place the hands behind the back just to finish off. Lift the chest up towards the sky. Pull the arms away. Smile. <laughs> and release. Well done. Just a really short and simple class to take as much as you possibly can. You can, you know, take this every other day or every day if you have that time there, just to slot in some mobility and stretches for the shoulders. I shall see you on the next one. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment. Thank you.